close your eyes, watch your breath. Try to feel it as deep down into the body as you can. Give the mind a good, solid place to stay. When you practice it, the teachings like this, it's called homage to the practice, homage to the Buddha for having discovered this path. The path to leads to something really solid inside. Tonight we'll be having a, a candle circumambulation for Wesak Abucha or Wesak, the day that commemorates the Buddha's birth and then also his awakening and also his final passing away. But as he said on the night of his final passing away, it's not through homage to the material things that you really show respect for the Bodhi. You show homage to the practice, practicing the Dharma in accordance with the Dharma. In other words, you practice for the sake of putting an end to suffering. You practice by changing yourself to fit into the Dharma rather than trying to change the Dharma to fit with your preconceived notions. This is an important principle. When John Swat used to say that staying with the John Mun, this is one of the Dharma themes that are repeated more often than anything else, that we have to practice the Dharma in accordance with the Dharma, which means that we practice for the sake of dispassion, the dispassion that leads to release. Because as long as we're holding on to things, we can't be freed. And it's not the things around us are holding on to us. Our wealth isn't holding on to us. Sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations, they don't hold on to us. We hold on to them. But then they go slipping through our fingers. And all we're left is with the, the tension of the, the movement of holding on and seeing the things slip away, slip away. For most of us, that makes us want to hold on even more, because we fear that if there's nothing to hold on to at all, then we're, we'll have nothing. But Buddha discovered that when you can let go, then there's a great reward. But you have to let go intelligently. You don't just let go of everything, like the raft going across the river. You hold on to the raft, and you, as he says, you make an effort with your feet and with your, with your hands to swim across the, the river with the raft supporting you. If you let go of the raft, it's very likely that the currents will sweep you away. So hold on to the path and let go of the things that would pull you away from the path. And then finally, when you get the other side, then you can let go of everything. So look at which ways in your life you're actually holding on to the path and which ways you're holding on to other things and letting the path go. Because if you hold on to other things as you cross the river, they, they might pull you away. There are logs and other things that are floating down the river. You try to hold on to them and they just sweep you along. So learn how to be very careful and, and selective in what you hold on to and what you let go. And that way you're practicing the Dharma in accordance with the Dharma. You're not only paying homage to the Buddha, but you're also helping to keep the Dharma alive. Because if people don't practice the Dharma, then they don't see the benefits, and then it just becomes one more thing to talk about, one more thing to argue about. But when you see the benefits, you realize that it's really valuable. It's something you want to pass along. If other people see the benefits in your behavior, that might inspire them to practice too. It's in this way that we show homage to the Buddha. At the same time, we're showing our concern for the people who come after us. The Buddha left us with something good. This is our inheritance from him. We want to make sure that we maintain it and pass it on intact. The Buddha said, if we keep on practicing rightly, then the world will not be empty of those who obtained awakening. So on days like this, we think of the past and we think of the future. Think of what we owe to the past and what we can give to the future by really looking at ourselves and taking care of ourselves right here in the present moment, practicing the Dharma in accordance with the Dharma, straightening out our minds so we can see the benefits of this practice right here and now. <laughs>